Okay, that's going, that's going, this is going. Okay. Oh my gosh, what's... Greetings guitar lovers, this is Jason from Ishibashi Music Shibuya in Tokyo. Uh, as most of you would know, and I've said it many times, I'm a huge Ibanez fan. I play Ibanez guitars myself. And for those of you who are not necessarily Ibanez fans, need to understand that we're very passionate about our brand, way more than I think most people are. Most people own a Gibson, own a Fender. Most people own a Fender, own a Gibson. A lot of Ibanez guys like myself, we just play Ibanez, that's just our way. And this is the first time Ibanez have made an acoustic guitar here in Japan in quite a long time. A uh, rough ballpark about 20 odd years to the best of my recollection. This guitar has a solid spruce top with rosewood back and sides. It's got very nice rosewood on it. Uh, I love in true Ibanez fashion, uh, the neck here is a nice smooth finished neck. It's actually pretty much unfinished. It may have some sort of an oil finish on it, I'm not 100% sure. Mahogany neck on it. The tuners on this thing are beautiful. They're the same tuners that are on the George Benson uh, hollow body guitar. It comes with an external preamp box, which is an interesting little thing. Uh, I've played this guitar a bit. I will say the one downside to this guitar, if there is one, is the fact that there is no internal or dial control anywhere on the guitar to adjust the guitar on the instrument itself. It seems that the reason that they've left it out is because that way there's no cuts in the guitar. It's just a straight up regular acoustic guitar. The only thing that's in there is on the end of the guitar here, there is the end pin with the jack, and then there is this little panel here which actually has a mute switch on it as well for the output of the pickup. As an acoustic instrument, this is a little bit different to many. Let me do a little quick bit of playing and I'll show you what I mean. Then I'll go to finger picking, which I'm not a great finger picker by the way. And you'll notice there's still a good comparable level between the acoustic as picked and the acoustic as finger picked. So I'll just do a quick little thing here to focus on that. There's quite often a huge difference in volume between finger picking and strumming on an acoustic guitar. So just a bit of straight strumming. And then a little bit of finger picking. It handles both styles with a really even balance in volume. Try doing exactly that. Give a guitar a bit of a strum, lightly. Give it a good hard strum. And then listen to the difference in volume when you go to finger pick. Because you'll find quite often that it completely disappears. And the same thing when you play melody lines or leads or solos or whatever. That volume balance is really, really good. If we go over now to using the acoustic preamp that comes together with the guitar, I've got this mic'd up through this Zoom recorder here. I'm using a Zoom H6. I'm going directly from the guitar into the preamp. The preamp has two outputs. It's got a balanced output and then a regular line output. The line output is going into a uh, Fishman SA220 uh, stack style or pole style uh, acoustic amplifier and it's also going direct from the balance line out into the zoom recorder so I'm recording multi-channel here and you can hear the difference in sounds
kicked in with a lead style of notes. If you were playing something a little nicer. And then with a finger picking version of something. The balance on this instrument is really, really good and that's kind of what makes it. The woods are lovely, it's well put together, it sounds good, it feels good, the action is super low in true Ibanez tradition. I don't really have any big complaints. Now another thing with the preamp, if I adjust the bass and the mid-range up a little bit, here's the sound differences. very responsive and I like that. I also really enjoy the phase reversal switch. And then from there you can go through and adjust absolutely everything you want. So if you want more brightness. You've also got a notch filter setting on here, which has a frequency range on there as well, going from 100 hertz up to 450 hertz. So if we go with the wide notch filter, obviously this is for feedback, which I'm not having any issues with right now. Point being that if you're in a situation where you're getting bad feedback in a venue, you can correct it very easily with the unit right next to you. Um, and one thing for a thought that I had with no volume control, you can always run a volume pedal on the floor that goes from the guitar into the volume pedal and then into the preamp if you wanted to. You could possibly install one, but I really don't think it's that big of a deal, but I know people are gonna talk about it, which is why I'm bringing it up right here. But as an instrument to play, it's very comfortable, it sounds good, it feels good, it's priced very well. Now, I'm not gonna quote a price because different markets are in different price points, but up compared against other brands who are doing a similar type of instrument, I think it's really good on the money. Um, so that's pretty much about everything I have to tell you. I'll give you a couple of bits of playing here and then we'll be done. Thank mm -hmm. you.